Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Cloud Gaming. I'm bringing you another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be playing some... Well, actually not playing some, but I'm going to be showing you the new update of Modern Warfare. Um, they changed a couple things. It's been the new... It's been the first update in, I think, a month. I think the last one was, um, October 13th, if I remember correctly. Um, and now it's November, like, what is it? November 11th? Or November 10th. Um, so it's been almost... A whole month so I'm gonna be going ahead and showing you everything that they've changed because they've changed the menu they've changed um, a couple things in the game and they've um, added a couple things so first of all we now have the black ops cold war uh, pre-order thing I think if you click it it takes you to the store and it uh, helps you pre-order I actually haven't clicked it yet but that's what I'm guessing it is because it says black ops cold war pre-order next up we have warzone um, which if you click on it it'll load the assets warzone and modern warfare update uh, you'll have Battle Royale and Plunder Trios, so you have all four of these and then Trios. Um, they got rid of uh, Zombie Royale and all the modes from the Halloween event. Um, and then we also have the updates um, and the Battle Pass and everything like that. So this is basically, it just goes back to Basic Warzone. Next up we have um, Modern Warfare. Um, this is actually separate from Warzone now for some reason, um, which I do understand. Uh, they just wanted to make sure you can get all three of the Modern Warfare modes over here, and then Warzone over here so you don't have to go through both of them. So if you click on this, there's the campaign, you can play um, through the campaign. There's the co-op, you can play through the spec ops, and then there's the multiplayer, um, which if you click on, has a new playlist update. So there's core, um, everything in here, uh, or quick play, everything in here, core, hardcore, and Call of Duty League, um, Hardcore has all the modes too, um, but there's Gunfight, uh, Ground War, uh, Snipers Only, TDM, so they fixed the TDM thing in Snipers Only to where you can't use your keybinds, um, from what I've heard, you can't use your keybinds anymore, so now it's actually Snipers Only, Hardpoint kills, uh, uh, hills and kills, um, Hardpoint where points are earned for holding hills and getting kills, um, so kind of the what is the objective but it's only hard point shipment 24 7 and shootouts 24 7 are still here um and then if we go to the update as you see the last one was uh october 13th but now we have one today uh which is they fixed a bug where when reviving a fallen teammate as the round ends in survival users can become stuck in third person so the thing where if you rev if you revive them you're literally in third person until you either go down and die or um i think also if you go down um, which I thought was okay. I didn't really mind it, but it kind of does break the immersion of a first-person shooter when you go into a third-person shooter like uh, GTA for survival. Um, fix, fix an issue where some players were seeing the error code. So they fixed one of the error codes where um, it Modern Warfare basically kicked you from the game, I'm guessing, um, or glitched out and you couldn't get in. Um, fix for the gas operator challenge where players are unable to complete the first objective. Um, in the season four gas operator bundle mission win three gulag fights with gas i didn't actually know that was a problem but basically i'm guessing basically um now you can actually get gas's stuff because i think there was a glitch uh which uh, apparently there was where they fixed it uh which i kind of heard about where if you didn't complete that first challenge you can go on to the next one so that was probably a problem for some people uh fixed an issue where officer challenges 90 to 100 have been resetting after completion, preventing players from getting the Season 6 emblem. Um, so basically there was a problem where the last challenges that you could get for the season, which helped you get the emblems, helped you with the XP, helped you with battle pa Basically the challenges over here, um, officer progression I'm guessing, uh, 90 through 100 just weren't working. Um, or they were working, but you could redo them. I don't re I don't know if it actually gave you the XP for redoing them, but they reset, uh, so you couldn't get the, um, Season 6 emblem. Um, and safe house final of SP, uh, at the killstreak chopper checkpoint when using the zoom button, the camera will zoom in and out. Um, I have no idea what that means, if I'm being honest, but I'm guessing there's something where, I, I, I don't know. Um, players using Juggernaut will not hear the drilling audio when hit by the Flimbottomizer throwing knife. Oh, uh, then that is fixed. Oh, so now you will hear it whenever you're hit by the throwing knife because uh, you weren't able to. Uh, fixed a bug where the player could have a spotter scope effect when not ADSing uh, with it by putting up two weapons while looking with the scope. 
Um, oh, so if you picked up two weapons while you were using the spotter scope, you got the free vision from it, and you didn't even have to hold it. So you could basically have constant thermal vision um, and fixed a bug where helicopters could spin and float in the air after progressing in survival. Um, weapons, the M4 Tombstone fixed a bug where ADSing with the .458 uh, Socom or the 9mm Para 32 round mags removes um, them from the weapon model. So I'm guessing that... Oh, I'm guessing when you added them, the model of the weapon didn't have mags or something. Uh, tracer pack, uh, Sakura edition, or yeah, Sakura edition, um, Maruga. I I'm gonna butcher these. Um, the dynamic icon appears to have a mirror gap or minor gap between the barrel and the body of the weapon, um, which has been fixed. So basically, now the now it looks better. Warzone uh, fixes to help against weapon corruption while in spectator mode this ga the gas in the gas grenade can sometimes absorb or obscure or completely hide players from thermal scopes um fixed an exploit near the lazoff pass metro station um armored royale fixed a bug where dropping on a truck um redeployment redeployment flare into a service entrance Um, of the subway can cause the truck to parachute underground. Oh, so you can get underground with a truck. Okay, that was um, something I didn't know about. Um, while in plunder, players' parachutes will now auto-deploy to help prevent against exploits. Um, fix an exploit where durable ga with a durable gas mask. Fix an audio bug where no overheat audio was playing while using the minigun on the helicopter. Um, when a player is using bumper ping, on their button layout, the player will unable to switch between the gas grenade and EMP glass, resulting in a in them only able to use the gas grenade. Um, when sitting in the passenger seat of a helicopter and using the minigun, uh, priming the lethal while simultaneously switching seats will bring the player's view model. This has been fixed and remove juggernauts from bunker puzzles. And then PC. This is all the stuff for the different PCs. I'm not going to go over that because that's just for the certain um, group of people. Um, but yeah, all, all those things have been fixed. Uh, something that I would recommend them fixing is in Warzone, I have seen a bug where it, like a, a teammate will mark somebody, uh, like mark an enemy. So double, double up on the D-pad, I think. Um, so they'll mark it and it won't show up. Like uh, I had my friend mark an enemy who was behind me and he said he's right behind you he marked him and I was looking for him and there was just no marker like I I literally went he said I was standing on top of his marker and there was no marker there for me um so that is an issue and then sometimes um there's an issue where even after you parachute um if you parachute like too late sometimes in games for some reason your ping just goes up. I don't know what it is but me and my friends had an issue yesterday where we all, um, so two of us didn't parachute, um, in the game, and then our ping, like, spiked. We went to 90 milliseconds, and it happened eight, nine, ten times in a row, um, on our streams, and it actually ended up crashing my stream once, um, and also kicked me out of the game once, so that is, uh, something that, I, it could just be an issue that just randomly happens, and it couldn't have to do with a bug in the game, but that is a bug in the game that at least I've noticed, where if you, if you, if multiple of your teammates die from crashing into the floor at once, your ping goes up for some reason, so, um, yeah, that's also an issue. But um, that's really it for the updates today. I hope you guys do enjoy. If you do, please like button because you're subscribing. I upload every day, usually Modern Warfare, Mortal Kombat, um, and things like that. I'll see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.